Hey there, so I wanna show you very quickly how you can get American Netflix no matter your location. So to demonstrate this, I've chosen a show that is only available in the States. Um, so that will be High Rise, which is a movie from 2015. Now, if I look it up here, you'll notice that I'm really not able to see it or reach it. It's just not available in my current library. So if you're in the same shoes and you're trying to catch up with some, you know, shows from back home and they're not available in your current location, what you can do is use a VPN. Now, what a VPN will do is make it look like you're in another location so that you can get access to the contents of that location. So if I go to my IP finder here and give it a refresh, you'll notice that it says I'm in the UK just because I'm connected to the UK server with ExpressVPN here. So in this case, what you want to do is connect to an American server. Now again, what a VPN will do is route your local connection through the chosen location or server of your choice here. So in this case, if I want to connect to an American uh, server, I would just choose one of these. Let's just go for Washington DC and go ahead and connect to the server. But before doing that, I want to make sure that I'm optimized for streaming. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm connected to the lightweight UDP protocol here. Now what protocols are in VPNs, they're essentially like pathways to get to your destination, just different pathways. Some pathways are longer, some pathways are shorter and simpler, some are quicker, some are slower. The best performing one and the most reliable and optimized one is this one right here, which is why I choose it. Now you can keep it on automatic if you don't ever wanna you know, mess with your protocol settings ever again, but Lightweight UDP is the most reliable one in my experience and it works really well for streaming and gaming as well. So that's what I'm gonna choose. And at this point, I can just click the on button right here and it should be on, there we go. And now let's just go to Netflix and I'll head on over to the refresh button, give it a good refresh and high rise should show up. There we go. It is leaving soon. So you only have a few days to watch it at this point, but this is how you can get access uh, to any American service, not just the American Netflix library. So if I want to access my Hulu account, my Amazon Prime Video account, my uh, Disney account, whatever it is, I can access that streaming platform, specifically the American library of that platform using a VPN like Express. Now there are two other really good alternatives that I'll be sure to link in the description as well, which are Nord and Surfshark, and they're super reliable VPNs when it comes to accessing streaming services. But I personally like to just go with Express. It's very simple to use, incredibly quick to connect and disconnect. And in my experience, again, it's just been the most reliable at accessing streaming services and giving me really fast connections whenever I wanna torrent safely or if I just wanna protect whatever it is that I'm doing online by hiding all of my traffic uh, from my ISP or government or the administrators, let's say on whatever Wi-Fi network I'm using. So that's why I like to use Express. And again, for more information on Express or any of the VPNs that I mentioned today, I'll be sure to leave all the useful links in the description down below. And that'll be it for this video. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'll be happy to take a look at all of them and answer your questions. And a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.